It's time. INAV5, it's out, so let's have a tutorial. How to install INAV5 on the RC Airplane FPV model. In this tutorial we will be working with a flying wing, however every step that we will take also applies for the airplanes with a tail. The only practical difference is the mixer itself. In next few videos we will go through every single step required to have INA5 set up on the airplane so that your model is ready for the maiden. Bear in mind we will not go into the tuning, only the initial setup so that, well, you can put it into the air. The model I will be using is my Flybot Flux with the DJI FPV, Pito Tube, Matek F765WSE and, well, everything that's required to fly. And, of course, yeah, it also has the GPS. The radio link I will be using is the Immersion RC Ghost. However, setup for any other radio link is super simple. You will only have to choose a different protocol. Without any further ado, let's go. Step number one is of course flashing. To be able to flash INAV to your flight controller, your flight controller has to be in the DFU mode. To put it into the DFU mode, you have two options. Option number one is to press and hold the boot button button on your flight controller and then connect the USB cable. Option number two is to connect to the INAV configurator, go to the CLI tab and type DFU. In both cases INAV configurator should detect the DFU mode and you are ready to flash. Let's go to the flasher tab. I will be flashing the release candidate one so I have to select unstable releases and find the target I will be using. In my case it's the MATEC F765 SE and I do want to have the full chip erased on. The safest option is always to flash with the full erase on. This way you will be able to apply the new defaults that we are shipping with INAV on every release and to take the full advantage of the new features. Now it's time to select the firmware version. I will be using the 5.0 RC1, however when you are watching this video there probably is the 5.05 final. So you should choose the final. For now let's go with the RC1. Then let's click load online and after the firmware was loaded from GitHub let's hit flash. After the flashing is done the new serial port will be detected, the board will boot and we are ready to connect. That's all for today. In the next episode we will configure the defaults and check the sensors and board orientation. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always happy flying!